Bazel is really hard to adopt uh, and to roll out to engineering teams, but we think that Bazel has a lot of promise. We founded Aspect because we believe that Bazel can make developers more productive and happier while working across the full stack. We want to see that rollout continue to every company where Bazel makes sense. We believe that Bazel has the potential to make engineering a lot more productive and even more fun. We've grown so much in the past year and we're excited to continue to grow and help more companies migrate to Bazel. Our goal is to make Bazel the industry standard full stack build system. We hope that by providing custom migration solutions and tools for adoption and daily use, we can make Bazel feel more approachable and help users to feel more supported. My name is Alex Eagle. I'm one of the founders of Aspect Development. I worked at Google from 2008 until 2020 on several Bazel adjacent projects, like the continuous integration system and a build and test results web UI. And eventually I found my way to the Angular team where I met Greg, my co-founder at Aspect. We worked on writing the Node.js Bazel rules and we spent almost four years working on that project, helping product companies to adopt Bazel. In addition, we're also writing software around the Bazel ecosystem. We're the authors of the JavaScript and Python rule sets for Bazel. We're also working on other rule sets and we have a CLI that replaces Bazel is coming soon. We're also working in the community to build things like a, a documentation site, which is searchable and shows you all of the rules for all languages that are available in Bazel. My name is Tulio Ferraz Assis, and I'm a senior software engineer at Aspect Development. One of my greatest goals is to make other engineers' day-to-day -day lives easier recently accomplishing that by pushing forward Rules Python and a fully hermetic GCC toolchain. In Rules Python, I contributed with two main features. One, the Gazelle extension for Python, which is an opinionated build file generator to help keep Python under Bazel tidy. And two, the hermetic Python toolchain, which has helped to reduce non-deterministic behaviors in builds and tests across clients who have adopted this toolchain. My current work in progress is the, in the Python land has been a feature for building Python wheels under regular Bazel actions, including native wheels. This feature will improve even further the hermeticity of Python under Bazel by taking advantage of the appropriate toolchain resolution for both Python and other native language toolchains those wheels may require. For example, the C++ toolchain. The second project I've been pushing forward is the Hermetic GCC toolchain, currently supporting C and C++. This toolchain has been crucial in the success of one of our clients, who is leveraging both remote cache and remote build execution. The GCC toolchain, which can be found under the Aspect Build GitHub org, contains features like being able to build pure targets with no dependency on libstandard C++, while in the same project as other C++ targets. Use with remote build execution from a macOS host, integration with address thread and undefined behavior sanitizers, cross-compilation from x86-64 to ARM v7 and ARCH64, and sees roots for those three architectures for producing highly portable artifacts. I hope my contributions will help make your day-to-day -day work better with Bazel. Let me tell you a bit about how Aspect helps companies adopt Bazel. At our site aspect.dev, you'll see how we help clients with their Bazel migration through both hands-on consulting and hands-off support and escalation to keep their migration unblocked and their developers productive. At aspect.build, you'll see our product line. We continue to build the sort of great usable rules we have for years that integrate Bazel with languages like C++, Python, and JavaScript and TypeScript. We're also working on a CLI tool that makes Bazel way easier for developers to use and makes it easier for developer experience teams to customize how Bazel works within their organization. Aspect's CLI is a super-powered wrapper around Bazel. You install it similar to Bazelisk, 
but we go much further than Bazelisk to make it possible for you to integrate Bazel with your organization, just like Google did when they developed Blaze internally. For example, you can add plugins. A plugin can do many different things. One of them is to contribute new commands. Imagine if you could run Bazel Lint or Bazel Deploy, or even Bazel Rebase so that all of your developer workflows are captured in one tool, and those workflows can be powered by your dependency graph. Another feature is interactivity, where the Aspect CLI can prompt the user and help them get back on track, especially novice users for whom Bazel is a little bit intimidating. We are continuously increasing our knowledge to deliver results for clients all over the world. At the same time, Aspect is focused on sustainable growth and the well-being of our close-knit team. We believe in prioritizing both productivity and empathy because we know that people are able to create and innovate best when they feel trusted and included. I'm Amakai and I'm a staff engineer at Aspect Development. I'm going to be talking about scaling CI with Bill Kite at the upcoming Bazel Exchange Conference in June. For this talk, we're going to be looking at a case study of one of our clients, taking an in-depth look at the number of different ways we can optimize the CI pipeline, from agent startup times to the Bazel invocation itself. To give a sense of size, the client was averaging around 2,000 main branch builds per week, and approximately 8,000 diff builds in the same time period. Before we started heavily optimizing the CI pipeline, the end-to-end -end build took approximately an hour. We'll also take a look over the choices and trade-offs that were made during this journey, and why you might want to architect your CI setup differently based on your needs. For example, you may want to optimize for speed based on a certain dollar cost of EC2 instance size. Picking the right instance type is an important factor here, and there are a lot of options to choose from. We'll talk through some of the instance types and configurations that we experimented with. We'll also talk about the ecosystem and culture around the CI system and the impact and the changes had on the developers. So join me at the Basil and Bill Kite Fast Green Choose 2 talk at the Basil Exchange Conference in June.